Alright everybody, um, I wanted to give you an update for some of you that follow my channel. I don't really update it that often, um, and it's usually with baby stuff. So, um, here's a little, here's a little gear video. Um, here's my current pedal board. I took the delay lab out and I sold it, so that's gone. But I built this board. It's made out of wood, um, and it's all, you know, I had a really bad board before. And this is a step up, but it's a crazy heavy so you can see the Force audio details power supply and uh <clears throat> this really doesn't work and uh there's a bunch of stuff like there's a issue of space and um i really needed an update so this is what's going on i built it it's heavy i move it around a lot because i play for church so um i need something a little bit more better um Easier to move, uh, hold pedals well, um, pretty good at organization. So, there's this board, and remember my Blackstar HT20, which uh, I want to trade in for something else. And then there's the Telecaster, the American Standard 60th Anniversary Edition. Um, I went online um, just to kind of see my options and um, came up with that. If you wonder what that is, that's an accessories bag for a pedal train. And uh, <clears throat> right here, this is a the pedal train saw case. I didn't need a, a flight case because that's just kind of excessive. But um, I had a PT3 and it looks surprisingly massive it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on in there that you can fit a lot of pedals but um comparatively it's not really you know i think it's the same surface area but just oriented different and um the accessories has a has a thing where you can mount the power supply underneath which is great um but somebody told me before um you know before you buy effects and stuff and and all that, just kind of have a discussion with yourself about what kind of guitarist you want to be, or what kind of guitarist you are. And you know, for me, since I play for church, uh, a lot of the people um, that you actually listen to that are supremely creative and just make really weird soundscapes, um, they just really have standard pedals like, um, you know, Boss, um, the the reverb pedal, the amp, the super ambient pedal. And um, they'll have stuff like a DD20, just pedals that have been around for a long time. And uh, so I looked at some of the guitarists that I follow and their gear, and since I play a lot of their music, I decided to follow in their steed and kind of, you know, cater my, my effects pedals to um, things that they use. So um, with that being said, I am going to keep my flashback times four. Um, I am going to keep the, the DL4. But I might um, move that out for something else. Um, I'm not going to be using the Rat anymore. I might keep it still. Um, I'm not going to be using the Sonic Stomp anymore. I will not be using the Rocktown Hush pedal anymore. Um, Polytune, duh. Ernie Ball, Lolly pedal, duh. And the uh, Echo's Power Supply, most definitely. Um, but I also added this. The Nova Delay. Turn it around. This is a, a staple. You know, it does a lot of different things, and um, I'll be doing a, hopefully I'll be doing a demo of it and review of it. But um, I'm just going to run two delays when the board is all complete. I'm just going to run two delays, reverb, and some other effects. But it's just going to be a really minimalist type board. So um, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And, um, you know, once I get off my lazy butt, all that, I'll see you on there. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.